In this video, I just want to share a few updates about my Tmax terminal toggle. Notice that I'm in Neovim here and I'm going to press Alt T. The terminal shows at the bottom. That's configurable. I'm going to show you how I did that in a minute. And if I press Alt T again, it's just going to hide it. This uses Tmax because that's what it's doing. Opening a Tmax pane in the directory of the file. And then when I press Alt T again, it's just hiding that Tmax pane. If I switch to a different file, notice here at the very top of the screen, you can see the path for this file. It's in the CSHRC directory. I'm going to switch to another file right now. This is in a completely different directory. And I'm going to press Alt T here. And notice that this is following me. It automatically changed to this directory where this file is at Neobin Lua plugins and that's where I'm at here. Just gonna press Alt T again. That's gonna hide it. Gonna switch to the old file and I'm gonna press Alt T and it switches to this directory again. This is also configurable and I'm gonna show you how to set that up as well. Before we continue, I just quickly want to give a quick shout out to my first member ever. It came from this video, Snipe versus Harpoon and Neobim. If I scroll down here a little bit, we're gonna find this user xtnctr and it's been supporting for four days so whoever you are i really appreciate it hope you find value in my videos and i just wanted to say thanks for the rest of you reloaders and that file scavengers i also wanted to say thanks because this channel wouldn't be alive if it wasn't because of you i'm almost at 3,000 subscribers so if you want to support me and you don't want to get the two dollar membership is fine keep watching my videos keep sharing them keep leaving comments keep liking them so again thanks to everyone and especially thanks to xtnctr all right let's go back to the video So the first update that I want to share with you is how to toggle this and make it show at the bottom instead of on the right, the way that I demonstrated this in a previous video. So let me hide this real quick. And now let me open my key maps file. Here it is. Now I'm going to search here for Tmux and here's the key map. I'm going to scroll down here a little bit. Here's some notes. If you don't want it to auto CD when you switch to a new directory, make sure that you set this to false. Also, this is where I specify the Tmax pane direction. I have it set to bottom right now, but just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to switch it to right and I'm going to show you how that looks. So let me just replace this bottom to right. Notice that I left a note here a few lines above. So the direction that I support is right or bottom. That's what I use. I don't use left, so I'm not planning on implementing that, at least as of now. But let me know what you think down in the comments. Something else important is this other note here. Notice that the first number is the size of the pane if split horizontally, this one. And the second number is the size of the pane if split vertically. So you can change this to your liking. Notice that there's also another note here. If you modify this, make sure to also modify Tmax pane direction in the CSH VI mode section of the CSHRC file. Also modify this in your Tmax con file if you want it to work when in Tmax copy mode, okay? So let's look at this first. Let me open this CSHRC file. Here it is. Let me search for Tmax here. And this is the part that we need to change, the export Tmax pane direction. Notice that it's set to bottom right now, but I'm going to switch that to right instead. I just changed it. After doing this, make sure that you source your CSHRC file. I have a key map for that in Neovim, leader FZ. Notice that it's going to show me a message there, successfully sourced CSHRC. I'm going to restart Neovim right now. I have a key map for that as well. Alt Shift R, that's the way that I configured it. And I'm back in Neovim right now. I'm going to press Alt T. Notice that the pane now opens on the right hand side. I'm going to press Alt T. It hides. I'm going to switch to another file gonna press alt t here switches to that directory alt t again hides it i'm gonna switch this back to bottom again just gonna undo this change and i switch back to my cshrc file undo this change going to source the cshrc file again going to restart neovim and now if i open the pane it opens at the bottom and it hides without any issues if you're a little bit lost on why we're modifying stuff in the cshrc file on how the key map works or if you have questions about what's going on i would highly recommend you to check this video first neovim toggle terminal and automatically switch to new directory. I released this two weeks ago, so this is the video that I'm creating the update for. So make sure that you go and check that out before or after this video, and you're not going to have any questions at all. Okay, so let me go back to my key maps file. Notice this note that I left here as well. Also modify this in your Tmux con file if you want it to work when in Tmux copy mode. Let me bring up my Tmux configuration file. Tmux.conf, here it is. And notice this keybind that I have here configured. So when I execute Alt T, 
which is what you see here, it's going to run this shell command, simple toggle.sh. What is this for? Let me bring this up and I'm going to go into copy mode. I have a key configured for that in my keyboard. If I press the up arrow key, it puts me into copy mode. Let's say that I select this text. If you don't configure this, it is not going to hide when you press Alt T again. So that's the reason why I press Alt T. Notice that I left that text selected and this is what allows me to hide the terminal when I'm in copy mode. You can also use your mouse if you want to select stuff. You don't necessarily have to use your keyboard, but I prefer using my keyboard because it's faster. So let me quickly open this script in. Just going to press GX here. It's going to open Neovide. So if you're going to switch the direction of the pane to open on the right, make sure that you also modify this variable and set it to right. That's it. If you don't do this in your Tmux config, when you have text selected in copy mode in your Tmux split, you will not be able to hide the terminal when you press Alt T. So that's the only reason why I'm setting this in my Tmux configuration. After adding this configuration and after adding this script in the right place, also make sure that this script is executable. Notice down here that mine is executable. You can see it here in Lua line. And also make sure to reload your Tmux configuration. I have a key map for that. If I press Ctrl B and then I press R, it's going to reload my Tmux configuration. One last thing that I want to show you before I let you go. Notice that I'm going to select some text here. I'm in visual mode here in Neovim. I'm going to toggle the terminal. It opened it and I can switch between the two panes and notice that I'm in visual mode in Neovim. That is not something that was possible for me in the past until I changed something. Let me show you real quick. I have the file open already here, which is the Vim Tmux Navigator.lua. This is the file or this is the plugin in Neovim that allows me to switch between Neovim and a Tmux pane using Control J, Control K or H and L, right? So the only change that I did is to also include insert mode and visual mode here. So let me toggle the pane. Let me switch back here. Notice that even if I'm in insert mode, I can switch to the pane below and back and forth. So that's what this allows me to do. Let me hide this. And of course, you have to make sure that you have this plugin configured in Tmux. Let me go back to my Tmux file. Let me search here for Navigator, I think. Here it is. So notice that I'm using this plugin in Tmux. If you're using the LazyVim distribution, there is already an option that you can use. Let me show my key maps here and let's search for a terminal. Notice that if I run control forward slash, it opens a terminal. Let's give it a try. Let me switch to this other Tmux window here, the number three. This is LazyVim running here. So if I press control forward slash, it opens the terminal. If I hit it again, it's going to hide it. So there's an option that you can use already without doing all this and it works great. It doesn't work great with my configuration because as you're able to tell, I use LazyVim as well, but it's a modified version. Notice that I don't have tabs here at the top. So if I toggle the terminal, it's also going to work. Control forward slash. And if I press control forward slash again, it's going to hide it. But since I don't use tabs, it doesn't play very nicely with my configuration. But even if it did, I prefer to have a completely separate terminal in another Tmux pane. So it's just a matter of taste and just to let you know that you have options. Okay, so I covered all of the updates that I had for this. Remember, if you still have questions about all this, about why CSHRC is involved in all this and what that CSH VI mode plugin is, go and check the other video. I explain everything in detail there. That's all the updates I had. I think I covered everything. If you have questions, let me know down in the comments. If you want to support me, make sure that you share my channel, my video, so that it reaches more people. Hope you find this useful. I'll see you in the next video.